This is UNAIDS. A very exciting paper was published in Nature this month that really represents an exciting advance for HIV vaccine science. The study was in fact done in monkeys using simian immunodeficiency virus, which is a virus related to HIV that causes AIDS in monkeys. In the study, nine out of the 16 monkeys given the vaccine completely cleared their bodies of SIV and the researchers were unable to find it despite extensive searches in different tissues for the virus. We know that when we treat people living with HIV with antiretroviral drugs, we have to treat them lifelong. And the reason for that is that the virus is seeded deep within their bodies in reservoirs and that when you stop the antiretroviral drugs, it simply comes back. This is the first study that has shown a vaccine that is able to apparently clear the virus completely from the reservoir, albeit in an animal model. Several approaches have been used in the HIV vaccine research field, but the approach taken by Louis Picker and his team has been to use cytomegalovirus. CMV is a virus that is widely distributed and many of us have already been infected with it. And what Louis Picker has done is to modify the virus to be able to carry SIV around the body in such a way that the immune response is developed in all sorts of parts of the body, which may also be why the response is effective at clearing the reservoirs of infection. An obvious challenge is that this was work that was done in monkeys, and translating research findings from monkeys to humans is not always straightforward. Another challenge is that CMV is a virus and it can cause illnesses in people, particularly in those who are already immunocompromised. So we'll need to be very clear that any virus that's put into human trials is truly safe. So in order to test the vaccine in humans, first of all it has to pass through the, the safety and regulatory channels, so it will be at least two years before it's injected into any people. Following that, the whole trials and apparatus to see how well it works and whether it works will take many more years. So we can't expect the, the vaccine to be widely available for human use for at least 10 years, and it may never get there at all. Many vaccines fall along the way. But I think that the possibilities of a vaccine that not only limits infection, but also suppresses viral load, thus reducing progression of HIV and limiting infectivity, and a vaccine that might even eliminate the, the reservoirs of infection in humans, that's something well worth looking forward to.